That was Stephen Tempo and the Galactic Orchestra with I Always Want You and That's Why I Shot You. And that finishes up our evening music block, but don't touch that dial as we head straight into tonight's drama. Brought to you by Westcourt Interplanetary RVs. Westcourt, your home away from home planet for over 300 years. And now, Ace of Space, Episode 1. Goodbye, Moon. Howdy. Sit down and have a drink. I've got a hell of a story for you. It was 1902. I was in my home on Moon F7. I had only had a couple of drinks the night before, so I was up bright and early that evening. It was a sandstorm. I don't remember the exact day, but it was midsummer. I remember that because it was hotter than my grandpappy's donk pillow. Is it a holiday? There are no holidays today, hot stuff. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call? Thank you, and goodbye. Fellow citizens of Moon F7, this is your president, Lanford Burnham. I'm terribly sorry to inform you that our home is under attack by an unknown enemy. A high-energy laser beam has been spotted on a collision course with Moon F7. The laser will immediately vaporize our moon upon impact. Its estimated time of arrival is approximately 10 p.m. tonight. For your safety, I'm advising all citizens to evacuate Moon F7 no later than 8 p.m. Thank you, and goodbye. The news was concerning, but I knew what I had to do. And even though I didn't have a vehicle capable of getting out of orbit, I played it cool. Tiffany, what, what, what time is it? The current time is 8.37 p.m., ah! babe. 8.37? Ah! Tiffany, things to pack for a long space trip. According to spaceprepper.net, the five most important things are water, food, emergency signal, an adequate vessel, and currency. Was that helpful, Daddy? T Tiffany! Closest RV dealership! Crazy Joe's used RV and Pizza Emporium. 
located 0.6 kilometers away on Gristle Street, next to Grandma Gunther's Gentleman's Club. <laughs> uh, good old Grandma Gunther. Hmm. I miss her the most. Uh, 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 any, anyway, I grabbed a few things, stuffed Tiffany's portable Datamax player in my duffel bag and bolted fast I could to Joe's. <laughs> Be careful, my darling. There's a chance of a sandstorm today. No shit! I don't think I ever even ran half a kilometer in my life before that day. I made it to Joe's, but there wasn't much left of his inventory. Just a few old beaters, most of them made long before I was even born. But they were all I had, so I broke in and got the keys from the front desk. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! I beat him to death with a bottle of beer. But that son of a bitch ripped my bag and broke my Datamax player. I don't know all what fell out. I don't even really know what I put in there in the first place. Tiffany! It, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I, I have you. I have you, Tiffany. I'll order a new Datamax first thing when we get out of here. Come on, come on, you piece of shit! There's a 1786 West Court Royal. About the size of a school bus on the outside, with the interior living space about the size of a handicapped bathroom stall. Come on, just stop! Oh yeah, it was also out of fuel. You have just heard Ace of Space, starring Justin Joestar VA as Ace Novak. Tiffany was played by Mel Teach. Lanfren Burnham by Patrick Andrews. Ace of Space, Goodbye Moon was written by Russell Andrews and directed by Patrick Andrews. This is War Noma, inviting you back next week, where we will bring you another exciting episode of Ace of Space. Hey folks, this is Ace Novak. 
Whether you're fleeing your home planet to save you and your lady friend from utter annihilation, like Tiffany and myself, or just to get out there and take a break from your everyday life, remember this. Westcourt has been the number one most reliable spacecraft manufacturer for over three centuries running. Westcourt Interplanetary RVs, your home away from home planet. How was that, baby?